And next you're on to Riven. And so I'm going to be very clear here. I am not going to explain how to do the Riven encounter correctly. I have done it. It is a fascinating and fun way to do the encounter. It, in my mind, is a extra level up over how the other encounters are done, right? So normally in Destiny Raids, they gradually give you more mechanics. They make it more complicated. They took this to the nth power with this one because there's just a lot going on. I'm not going to attempt to give you, especially for new players, on how to do that. There are plenty of guides, and if there ends up being a lot of demand, I'll go in and I'll make a guide like that, but I'm not doing that right now. So on the Riven Encounter, you're going to notice that there's six plates. That's for each guardian to stand on and to basically activate the encounter. Couple of notes here is DPS is going to be king. So I, I didn't mention this in Morgeth, but one thing you can do for DPS, especially this method, is you can bring in armor from the Dreaming City, and that can give you a significant boost for every piece to your damage. Now, that's stuff that you get through doing the weekly bounties and other activities in the Dreaming City. So if you do have a full set of that, that's going to help you significantly. The other thing I would say for DPS, the way we're going to do this, in the past, you've seen things like grenade launchers, linears. We're going to use swords. Swords are probably the easiest way. And if you have Lament, it is absolutely the best way. And we'll probably have someone with tractor cannon, a well. Those are the sort of things you're going to want for DPS. So once you activate this area and you head down, you'll notice you're, you're descending through, through Riven. You'll notice that there's an area that's blue. There's two doors. Head over to that blue door. That's what we always do. Once you head in there, Riven can show up in one of two areas, either this area or the other area. So there's going to be two things you can run to do. One person is going to go, I'm going to show you this, this area where if Riven doesn't show up in the area you're at, it's a teleport location where you can basically set yourself up to go to the other room really quickly. So have one person outside kind of sit here and wait just in case you have to do this. You're going to go into the room and kill ads. What you're looking for is in the front of the room, you're going to be looking for Riven moving around. There's kind of a black screen there. You'll notice if a shadow shows up. So there's a shadow that kind of goes on the screen. Riven will be in this room and you want to stick in this room. If you don't see that shadow, then at that point, you're going to want to hightail it back to where that person was standing and you all basically crowd up in that area and there's a five second timer and it will take you to the next room. And then you can follow a path Basically, to go in, it requires going by a tree, jumping down a couple holes, and then you'll end up at Riven. Now, the timing on this one's really tight, and it's going to limit how quickly you can do DPS, but it definitely is doable, and I've completed Riven using this method. Now, regardless of whichever side you're on at this point, you're going to want to get on the... Uh, we typically do it on the left side, but again, you could do it each, whichever one you want. But basically, Riven will come out... And Riven's going to have like feet that stick up on two sides, right? One, right and left. We set up there, we put a well down, we use our tractor, and we basically at that point wail on her until she gets to her final stand area. So, again, this isn't that difficult. It's going to require some practice, but as long as you have Lament, and if you have the Riven armor especially, but if you have Lament and the Dreaming City armor, you should be able to get to this really quickly. If you struggle with that, there are a couple other ways where you can use things. Well, you don't have a thousand voices probably, but if you use a thousand voices, that works really well. Um, you can also do, as long as you aim it correctly, blade barrage with using sort of standard solar builds that increase your DPS. The biggest thing, whether you use thousand voices or whether you use blade barrage, is you're gonna make sure you don't hit her eyes. Hitting her eyes is what's gonna cause a white mechanic. So make sure you don't do that. So, the, so that's why the sword method is a little bit safer. Once you're complete with this, then you're going to basically be warped into an area where you're going to have to do a jumping puzzle. During that jumping puzzle, you're going to continuously be dying. So, and there'll be things that'll boop you off. So one of the things you want to do again is make sure you follow the path to get up there, but you're going to not necessarily need wells, but as long as you have a warlock or rift or things like that, or ways to heal yourself a little bit, um, you can get through this. And if you're quick, you may not even need that. You get through that, you get back to Riven, at this point with Riven, you're just trying to do enough damage to finish her. Do that damage, go down her throat, and kill the ball in the middle, and then you're done with Riven. But that does not complete the raid. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids. But that's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians of the Tower.